and I have a swan coming out of the water coming to attack me. Please don't attack me. <laughs> this looks aggressive, eh? Hey, he's coming, man. Hey, buddy. You come try our bag, watch. So I just keep going. Here I am in St. Gilgen in Austria, just outside Salzburg, and what a beautiful place we're in. I'm so fortunate and blessed to be able to finish up in Fotokina and make a quick trip down through Munich one day at the October Beer Fest, had a, had a liter of beer with my mates, and we moved through to Salzburg onto St. Gilgen where we are now, and it was absolutely uh, breathtaking, to be perfectly honest. Um, and we're very fortunate to have had a day like this because the rain is coming tomorrow and we are leaving to fly back to Cape Town tomorrow. So yeah, uh, Fotokina. Uh, it, was a, it was an interesting week. I, had, I met some really cool people, made some really good connections. Um, I got to see uh, interesting things. And uh, I have mixed sort of thoughts on Fotokina. Uh, aspects of it were very positive. I was really impressed with the presentation from all the major manufacturers that really you know, it came out guns blazing, massive stands, huge amounts of money put into their presentations, long lines of people waiting for half an hour, 40 minutes just to be able to get to the to the counter to put their hands on an item that they've been lusting over for the last few weeks. So yeah, uh, it, it, overall it was a, a, a positive experience. It was a, a large area that was uh, covered. We were there only for two days. I'm not sure if we got to every stand, but we certainly tried to get to every stand. But there were aspects that were of slightly more negative, uh, not negative, I was a little bit disappointed about, and that was the amount of smaller companies there that are making uh, or innovating new products that we haven't seen before, new ideas that are not known within the industry. I would have liked to have gone up to more counters and gone, oh wow, that's something I never knew about, or that's I've never seen before. To be perfectly honest, the vast majority of, of it was copying each other. Uh, there are some companies that are innovative, which I commend them for. But there were far and few between. I would have, I really want to see more of that. But yeah, overall, overall very positive. In the next week or so, I hope to put out maybe two items per video of the things that I did see. And as I said, unfortunately, I didn't get to see many new products. So some of the products you may already know about. But I try to find those products you know about that might be on their second edition product or they're, they're moving into new type of product in their product range. With regards to Fuji, I had a very productive time with Fuji. I've actually got to meet some of the senior guys there. Uh, some guys gave me a lot of their time, which I really do appreciate. I managed to get uh, Isli Basson into an interview. Isli is the sales manager of Fuji Film South Africa, and he gave me a lot of his time. And I actually asked him a lot of really cool, interesting questions in the interviews, which I'll also be putting on the videos, uh, ho hopefully answering some of your questions out there. I know there were one or two questions recently about ex-photographers. Uh, there's obviously a lot of chat going on about uh, oversatur oversaturation of ex-photographers, what does it mean to be an ex-photographer, do you buy your own gear, do you get gear for free, how many people phone someone like Esli on a weekly basis or email him to tell him that they need to become ex-photographers. So I asked him that question and he was gracious enough to give us his honest answer. 
I will tell you though, is representing South Africa, not the rest of the world, uh, is he was speaking on behalf of Food Reform South Africa. So that, that was very, very uh, fruitful in my opinion. Good news, or should I say bad news, is that I wasn't able to get a, um, a copy of the GFX 50R and the XT3 here with me in Austria, which I'd hoped. I hope to leave the expo with at least one of those two cameras come to St. Gilgen and do some shots. I was hoping for the medium format to get some of this beautiful uh, nature behind me, but I can totally understand that Stan was so busy at Fujifilm that they had to, literally had to put every single item out because there was lines and lines of people trying to get their hands on it. So they needed all the gear they could have on deck. So uh, I will be getting that camera in probably two to three weeks, I hope. Uh, and either one of those two I'll be able to put through the paces again. I'm hoping the medium format uh, quite soon. And also very cool is I may be getting the 200 f2 lens to try out. And I have a, um, a wildlife trip coming up at the end of this month. And I hope to put it through its paces there. So those of you guys who are interested in that telephoto lens and its quality, as well as wildlife uh, photography, uh, that might be of interest to you as well. I'd really like to thank uh, all of you who came up to me at the show. And uh, I got to meet you, in particular Dimitros and Stephen who uh, had an awesome, I think it was an hour or so, we walked around the, the show together chatting. It was awesome to meet you guys. Uh, and I really enjoy your positive feedback and uh, some ideas that you also passed on to me. Really grateful for that. But hopefully I can you know, get to meet more people at uh, upcoming events as well. Today we went up a mountain outside St. Gilgan with cable car. Uh, Mark was with me, he filmed it. So there's a couple of little, you'll see a little bit of video of that. Uh, did some shots up there, nothing too serious. We just enjoyed ourselves. And yeah, we're flying back to Cape Town, South Africa tomorrow, and we hope to have those videos up for you guys soon. So please, if you want to see those, subscribe, hit that bell icon, you'll be notified of those videos. Thanks so much. God bless.